What is it about public speaking that can make even the most confident person's knees shake? A question many of us have asked ourselves at one point or another, but really, what is it about addressing a crowd that sends our hearts racing and leaves our palms clammy? You see, fear of public speaking or glossophobia is one of the most common fears people experience. Yes, even those charismatic speakers who seem to effortlessly hold the attention of an audience can feel their stomachs churn at the thought of standing in front of a crowd. Surprised? Don't be. It's a perfectly normal reaction, but why do we fear public speaking? Well, it's essentially a survival instinct. Our brains perceive the potential for social embarrassment as a threat, triggering a fight or flight response. It's the same response our ancestors would have had when confronted by a saber-toothed tiger, only now it's not a predator we're facing, but an audience. Now you might be thinking, that's all well and good, but how does understanding this help me? Here's the thing. By acknowledging this fear, we can start to manage it. We can begin to see it not as a hindrance, but as a motivator. A tool for self-improvement. Fear, you see, can push us to prepare more thoroughly. It can make us more attentive to our audience's reactions, helping us to adapt our delivery on the fly. It can keep us on our toes, ensuring that our presentation is not just good, but exceptional. So the next time you feel that familiar bout of nerves before a presentation, don't fight it. Embrace it. Use it. Harness the energy that fear provides and channel it into delivering a stellar performance. Remember, the greatest speakers weren't born that way. They honed their skills, battled their fears, and used them to their advantage. Your fear of public speaking is not a weakness. It's a strength waiting to be harnessed. So take a deep breath, step onto that stage, and show them what you're capable of. Do you know who really holds the power in any public speaking situation? The answer is simple, yet profound. It's your audience. Understanding them is not just a nice to have, it's a must have. The more in tune you are with your audience's needs, interests, and concerns, the more aligned your message becomes. Think of your speech as a tailored suit. You wouldn't wear a suit that's too big or too small, would you? Similarly, a message that doesn't fit your audience will seem out of place and perhaps even irrelevant. So how do you tailor your message? Start by doing your homework. Research your audience. Ask questions, understand their background, their values, their expectations. Then craft your message to resonate with them. When you truly understand your audience, your speech becomes a conversation, an exchange of ideas, and not just a monologue. Remember, you are speaking to them, not at them. Have you ever wondered why the best speeches seem so effortless? Well, it's no magic trick. Behind every great delivery lies meticulous planning and preparation. You see, public speaking is a craft and like any other craft, it requires a well-thought-out strategy and a lot of practice. Let's take a moment to appreciate the importance of planning. It's the blueprint of your speech, the roadmap that guides you from start to finish. It's the skeleton that gives structure to your words, and it's the secret sauce that makes your speech digestible for your audience. When you have a clear plan, you have a clear mind, and a clear mind breeds confidence, reduces anxiety, and allows you to focus on delivering your message effectively. But how do we plan a speech? It starts with outlining your key points. This is the backbone of your speech. These points should be clear, concise, and connected to your overall message. They are the pillars that support the structure of your speech. They provide a logical flow and keep your audience engaged. Next comes the fleshing out of these key points. This is where you add detail, depth, and personal touch to your speech. This is where your personality shines, where your passion comes alive, and where your message truly resonates with your audience. And then there's the practice. Practice is the polish that makes your speech shine. It's the rehearsal that fine tunes your delivery, refines your timing, and sharpens your words. It's the mock run that prepares you for the real stage. Practice is what transforms a good speech into a great one. Remember, public speaking is not just about speaking. It's about engaging, influencing, and inspiring your audience. And you can't do that without proper planning and preparation. It's the unseen work that makes the scene work. It's the quiet hustle that makes the loud applause. So next time you're tasked with a speech, don't just wing it. Plan it. Prepare it. Practice it. Because preparation is the key to unlocking your public speaking potential. What makes you hang on to every word of a captivating speaker? This isn't some sorcery or a secret talent. It's the art of delivery, the unsung hero of public speaking. The importance of delivery in public speaking cannot be overstated. Think of your speech as a gift. 
The content is the gift itself, but the delivery is the wrapping paper, the bow, and the tag. It's what gets people excited about what's inside. Now, let's talk about some of the key elements to effective delivery. First up, we have tone. Your tone sets the mood for your speech. It's the difference between a lullaby and a battle cry. An engaging tone is one that varies, that rises and falls with the contours of your speech. It's not monotonous, it's dynamic. Next, we have eye contact. Ever heard the saying, the eyes are the window to the soul? Well, in public speaking, your eyes are the window to your audience's attention. Maintaining eye contact creates a connection, making each listener feel seen and engaged. It tells your audience that you're speaking to them, not at them. Finally, let's talk about body language. Our bodies speak volumes, often saying more than our words ever could. Body language in public speaking is about using your physical presence to reinforce your message. This could be a dramatic hand gesture, a confident stance, or even a subtle shift in posture. It's about using your entire self, not just your voice, to communicate. But remember, like any art, mastering the art of delivery takes practice. It's about finding your own style, your own rhythm. It's about knowing your content so well that you can focus on how you're saying it, not just what you're saying. And above all, it's about authenticity. The most captivating speakers are those who are true to themselves, who bring their own unique flair to their delivery. So next time you're up on that stage, remember, it's not just about the words you say, it's about how you say them. Delivery can turn a good speech into a great one. How do you turn a mistake into an opportunity? You might be wondering. Well, the answer lies in one powerful tool, feedback. It's like a mirror reflecting our strengths and highlighting areas we need to polish. Feedback, especially when it comes to public speaking, is a goldmine of insights that can help refine your skills. Now, receiving feedback might be a tough pill to swallow, but it's the medicine we all need to grow. So, seek it out. After your speech or presentation, ask your audience for their thoughts, what resonated with them, what could be improved. Remember, every critique is a lesson, not a judgment. And what do we do with lessons? We learn from them. Use the feedback to fine-tune your delivery to make your message clearer, to become a more engaging speaker. Embrace feedback, not as a critic, but as a coach guiding you towards becoming better. Feedback is the stepping stone to improvement. What makes you a better public speaker? As we journey through the world of public speaking, we've encountered various strategies and techniques to improve our skills. Let's take a moment to recap the key points we've discussed. We began by engaging with fear. Acknowledge it, embrace it, and let it fuel your passion for communicating your ideas. Remember, fear is not a weakness, but a sign that you care deeply about your message. Next, we delved into understanding your audience. It's critical to know who you're speaking to, what they care about, and how your message resonates with them. When you connect with your audience on a deeper level, your speech becomes more impactful. Then, we explored the importance of planning and preparation. Remember, public speaking is not a spontaneous act, but a well-crafted performance. Prepare your content, organize your thoughts, and practice your delivery. The more you prepare, the more confident you'll feel on stage. We also discussed the art of delivery. It's not just about what you say, but how you say it. Your tone, pace, body language, and facial expressions can enhance your message and engage your audience. So be mindful of your delivery and let it amplify your words. Lastly, we covered the significance of learning from feedback. Constructive criticism is a valuable tool for growth. Listen to your audience, reflect on their feedback, and use it to refine your skills. Remember, every speech is a learning opportunity. Now it's your turn to apply these tips and improve your public speaking skills. It's a journey, not a destination. Every successful speech you deliver is a step closer to becoming a better public speaker. So embrace the process, learn from each experience, and never stop improving. Remember, public speaking is not about perfection, but connection. It's about sharing your ideas, inspiring others, and making a difference with your words. So go out there, speak your truth, and let your voice be heard.